Greg Tepper, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the THSCA Coaching School and Convention in Houston, joined by a guy who traveled about as far as we did from Flower Mound High School, Coach Brian Basil. And, uh, Coach, I just want to get this off the top. I do live near Flower Mound, but I live closer to Flower Mound Marcus. Do you want to end the interview right now? We we can forgive you for that. Okay. We'll, we'll get you we'll get you over in the navy silver and white here before okay. that's, for that's, uh, before this interview's that's, over. That's fine. We'll 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 do that. Um, your first year at 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 Flower Mound at FMHS. Let's call it mixed results, right? You know, some positives, uh, some things to improve on. Overall, how would you characterize uh, your, your your first year over at FMHS? Uh, the first year was was a lot of fun for me. I uh, you know, anytime you come into to somewhere new and, and have a chance to implement a, a program philosophy uh, is exciting. I was at MacArthur for a total of 13 years and, 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 uh, and loved it there. And, and we felt like we had uh, a, a good program in place to come in at, 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 at Fire Mound and felt like we could get off and running pretty quick. And I was very excited from the uh, standpoint of the leadership of our seniors, um, just the, the community support that we got and felt like we were able to to lay a pretty good foundation pretty quick. Um, we missed the playoffs by one game last year. I really felt like coming in year one, I told the seniors this, but I, I felt like we were a playoff caliber team. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, we ended up losing the game to Marcus in double overtime by three that as, as the way things ended up playing out uh, was the game that kept us out of playoffs. And so we felt like we were right there. We were knocking on the door and uh, – was, was just really impressed with the group of seniors that we had that came in and, and established a, a benchmark for leadership and work ethic and, and uh, you know, just building the brand of, of the style of football we wanted to play and, and I think laid a foundation for others to follow. So we're excited now that we've got a year under our belt, had an offseason under our belt. We've solidified our offense and defense and special team schemes and, and guys are familiar with it now and I think there's a level of excitement there that um, – that hasn't been there in a while, and, and uh, we're, we're hoping to build upon uh, some of those steps we took last year. I know coaches do a lot of research before they take a job, but what's something that surpri that's after a year at Flower Mound, what's something that maybe surprised you or something you didn't know about about the job at Flower Mound High that maybe you know now after a year? I've, I've been really, really impressed with just the level of toughness that, that those kids have. Yeah. Um, I, I thought that, uh, you know, when you go in and, 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 and maybe you haven't won – quite the number of games mm -hmm. you had hoped to and, and, and just, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, not been as competitive probably as what, what people would hope that maybe maybe they, uh, you know, maybe their confidence level was a little bit down and we, we'd have to motivate a little bit more. We'd have to build that up a little bit more. And uh, and that wasn't the case at all. We are just have been really impressed with, uh, you know, just with the, with the toughness that our kids play with and from uh, – you know, a desire to 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 want to have that. There hadn't been any pushback, and I mean, we're we're like anybody else. I mean, you, you, we're 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 not gonna, um, you know, we're gonna do things in a safe way. We're gonna be smart about the way that, that we do things. We're gonna be smart about our efficiency and 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 our and our schedules and how much time we put in. But you know, football is a physical sport, and uh, and those kids had a desire to show that they they love playing that way. And um, we felt in 10 games last year that, that, that we had a lot of plays that, that reflected the, you know, how hard we wanted to play and, and, and the level of physicality we wanted to have. And, and that was one thing I was impressed with. I thought we'd have to work a little bit more towards getting that taught to them. Um, but we were able to play, uh, I think, a lot more competitive football by, by having that nature about us. Uh, you Let's look forward to 2017. And the Jaguars look um – I'll be honest. From an analyst perspective, loaded. I mean, you've got a couple of guys that are that any that any team in the in the state would love to have. I especially look at Connor. You know, Connor Lee, your outstanding linebacker, mm -hmm. as well as a, a terrific quarterback, Jackson Averett. Is that it? Averett. Averett. Uh -huh. Averett. I've all, I've written it a hundred times. And I've never said it out loud. I realized just now. Um, it seems like you guys look poised for something. Maybe a breakout year. Well, we certainly think so. That's our expectation. We feel like. Uh, we're, we feel like we, we're capable of grabbing one of those playoff spots, and, and, and I mean, quite frankly, that's that's our expectation. We feel like if if we don't, then uh, we've fallen short of our goals, and, and certainly those are two guys that uh, you know, marquee guys for us. Connor's no secret to <laughs> District Five Six A or, or the DFW area. He's, he's uh, certainly uh, had some nice honors. Uh, Jackson really uh, 
about mid-year last year when he got settled in as far as offensively he was playing as well as anybody in the district on the offensive side. He ended up reflected in his first team all-district selection. But it's, it's always encouraging when, when, when two of your best players are also two of your hardest workers, two of your best leaders, two of your, your, your highest character kids. And uh, those guys are great leaders for us, and they're even better kids uh, in the school, in the community. Um, and they get a lot of attention, but they are really reflective of what a Flower Mound Jaguar is about and really reflective of, of what a lot of our kids and the majority of our kids are about. Um, they're hardworking guys. They are uh, perfect gentlemen off the field. They work hard in the classroom. Uh, they do a lot of community service. They're, they're not just football players, but they're very good, well-rounded guys. Um, so, so, you know, those two guys get a lot of attention and, and, and – you know, your quarterback and, and your middle linebacker, certainly guy who's defensive uh, MVP of the district last year, they're going to get, they're going to be your billboard guys. But we're, we're proud and our players are proud to be represented by them because uh, they reflect a lot of qualities that, that most of our guys have. When the, when, when the lights flip on on Friday night, they, they flip into that mentality. They get to look in their eyes and they're two of the best competitors that I've ever had an opportunity to coach. Before we move off of uh, Connor Lee, uh, does he still have the mustache? He, uh, he, so, he, he still has a mustache. So, he, the mustache will go into a full beard. Uh, so he's really grooming that mustache right now for, for, his, uh, you know, for the program picture. Sure, and, that's, uh, it's really good. So it, it, it's in Dave Campbell's Texas football. You, we get mug shots from every team in the state, you know, almost every team in the state. And I will have to admit, I'm pretty certain I just saw that mug shot and said, okay, well, that's going in, obviously. That has to go in the magazine. It's an it's a, it's a excellent mustache, Connor. Well done. You got to earn it in your district. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, do you have somebody at the UIL that's really mad at Flower Mound because this this is you know South Lake Carroll, Euless, Trinity, Hebron, Marcus. It goes on and on and on. It is a murderer's row. How do you how do you get your kids prepared for a for what's going to be a, a seven seven week? It's an eighteen district. Is that yes. correct? Yes. So a seven week slog through one of the toughest districts in, in at least the DFW Metroplex. Um, well, yeah, we, we take pride in that. Mm -hmm. um, go back to old adage, is if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. And we, we take a lot of pride, and we talk to our kids all the time about the, the, the best. Texas is, is the best place in the United States for high school football, and the DFW area is the best place in Texas for high school football. So it, there's not many opportunities to say that you're in the top 1% of the people on the planet that, that get to play at, at the highest level. And so that's something that we embrace. In the 6A level, in the DFW area, you're, you're going to play somebody good regardless. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Flower Mountain from previous realignment came from realignment with Allen and Plano mm -hmm. and, and, and McKinney Boyd in those schools and then moving into this district. I'm sure the next realignment, you know, the expectation for us is going to be the same. And, and I'm at Flower Mound, and, and uh, our expectations and our vision for that program is to get a point to where um, – you get people in there that, that that say, you know, crap. We we got in there with Flower Mound now, yeah. and that that's uh that's that's why I'm there. I yeah. think that we have an opportunity to do that. We still have a lot of work to do uh, for that, but um, I think that when you do something, you want you want to do it at the highest level, sure. and uh, I, we'll leave no stone unturned, and we'll back down from nobody in in terms of. Uh, uh, playing a level of football, we expect to go out and win every game, and that's that's my expectation. That's our kids' expectations, and and, and that's what we're working towards. Brian Basil of Flower Mound joining us. Let's ruin a good interview with a stupid wheel of questions. Give this thing a spin, and uh, we will see what you're going to be. He's he's studying it before I'm he. A, I'm gonna try to land on something blue. Something blue. Let's stay go. away from that red. Let's Here go. we go. Here we go. Staying away from red. Let's go. That's a good spin. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see where Brian Basil from Flower Mound will land. Purple, right in between. Perfect. <laughs> What's the best field house prank you have seen? And let's remember, this is a family show. Let's keep <laughs> okay. this PG. Well, because um, here's the thing. It's not just players. In fact, it's usually the coaches more often than not pranking each other. Uh, the best field house prank I've seen, well, I've, I've got to go back to uh, – I'm, I'm going uh, to have to acknowledge our our, our – athletic director in Louisville, Tim Ford. Uh -huh. uh, my, first, uh, my first job coming out of, out of college, I, I started out at Colleyville Heritage High School. Mm -hmm. And Coach Ford was our assistant head coach there at the time. For, for, uh, we worked for Chris Cunningham, uh, mm -hmm. who uh, great mentor for us. And 
Uh, Coach Ford was a biology teacher, and in his room, uh, of course, you know, oh, you I got the like frog the, I don't like where this is going. Uh, well, he had he had some live snakes uh, that he kept oh. in his room. So we had a coach one day where he actually um, – put a live snake in, 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 a, in a drawer you know it's just a little rack snake he'd just been fed so he you know so he uh he knew he was going to be safe but that coach opened his door and um you know to this day I've probably never seen anybody cover uh go from zero to 60 as quick as I saw <laughs> as I saw that coach run so um I still get a little bit leery about sometimes opening up a drawer after I saw that because mm-hmm. I knew probably uh you know the way we all reacted to that would would uh, you know that be is, right for the picks on that. That, that is, that's what comes to mind to me. Probably what I, what, what I that's first not remember. cool. That's the oh man. That's that that ruins that ruins like furniture for you. You know, like then you're just looking at a desk. You're like, is that full of snakes? Yeah, it, it'll uh, you know it'll definitely hurt some trust you have for some people <laughs> on your coaching staff for sure. Absolutely. He is Brian Basil, the head coach at Flower Mound. Coach, appreciate your time. Best of luck in 2017. Thanks. Appreciate it.